Happy New Year viewers, I hope you enjoy this quick video about the Lost Island on the River Tyne. This one's an interesting one. So let us take a walk along the River Tyne for a moment and if you are like me you will have walked past the bridges from the quayside, turned the corner to view the spectacle of the Dunstan Staiths. Although the river is quite wide around these parts and gets relatively shallow when the tide is out, little did I know this area of the Tyne had a secret, past long since gone. There are three points in this image which stay consistent with the history so let's see if you can spot them. I present to you the lost island of the River Tyne. Located in the River Tyne at Dunstan in Northumberland, King's Meadow Island was a small flat island covering about 30 acres. It was accompanied by a smaller island called Little Annie. The island was home to a pub called the Countess of Coventry, which was named after Thomas More's granddaughter who became the Countess of Coventry in the early 19th century. The landlady kept cows on the island and sold their milk on the mainland. Earlier in the video I mentioned three contact points on the current maps which have stayed the same. The tributary of the River Teams into the River Tyne, St John's Cemetery which is just off the top of this map and the question mark which appears to be two streams which have since been culverted and now pipe into the River Tyne. So this gives you a sense of where the island was and how big it was. The island came alive on special occasions known as barge days. The Newcastle Corporation used to sail their river boundaries in barges on these days, which took place annually until 1850 and every five years thereafter. A fleet of boats and steamboats led by the Mayor of Newcastle and the Master of Brethren of Trinity House sailed up the river to the limit of their jurisdiction. They then returned to King's Meadow for a day of sports and side shows, including a Rowan regatta and horse racing. Mm -hmm. 
In 1860, the Tyne commissioners decided to remove the island to improve navigation for ships and boats up the river to Dunstan and Ellswick. Dredging began in 1862 and was completed in 1887, ending the island's history. In 1884, a bronze socketed spearhead and a large ribbed bronze dagger were dredged from the north side of King's Meadow. These artefacts are now part of the Greenwell Collection in the British Museum. In more recent history, in 1990, Dunstan Comprehensive School merged with Saltwell High School in Hillhead's Lobley Hill and changed its name to the King's Meadow Community Comprehensive School. So this concludes our video on the history of the King's Meadow Island. I hope you found that interesting. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe as it does help out the channel. Leave a comment and a like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.